Welcome to video 2 showing you how to get better fills with less execution issues without the need to be glued to your PC monitoring it. You can pause the video and read what we're going to cover in the next 15 minutes. We're going to insert a strategy that just buys and sells every few bars. All we need to do is insert the trade made automation indicator. Make sure it's got a unique name. This is the symbol that we trade and check that your sim account is correct. Then turn the automation on. You can see a blue symbol up the top left corner and that also means that alerts are on TradeStation which can automatically send you emails if you're out of sync as well but alert mons more get up to do that in a more powerful way. So you can see that we've gone long and I'm going to update the market on close time to 11.20. So when we hit 90 seconds before 11.20, we're going to be getting a 10 tick improvement in price. What you need to do beforehand to see the orders that are on the chart is click this one here and click set as default and you also need to go to format account order and positions and put displayed line on check as default like so. If we were already in a trade and we normally wouldn't take a trade that's late in its entry we would just put the strategy on wait and then as soon as the trade is exited then it will automatically go to on and take the next trade. It's important to get the session end time correct because otherwise this market on close exit price improvement won't work. When we get to market on close time less 90 seconds we should have a 10 tick price improvement order which is 18 30. Now the market on close time is normally 3 p.m. That's assuming you have a market on close and you're day trading but that's where you get very high slippage normally because everyone's dumping their orders within a second and if you sit there a bit beforehand with a limit order at a slightly better price there's a very good chance that you'll get filled. So you can get your market on close slippage down very low or that will vary considerably from one trade to another. I've been doing this for many years and it greatly improves liquidity and your fills. You can see on this one second chart the huge spike at exactly 15.0000. So you can see why doing a market on close at exactly this time is going to give you very high slippage. And eventually if we're not filled at 15 seconds before market on close time We'll be sending a market order. Order filled. The other really good use for this sort of market on close exit is markets that close at the same time as the order is sent. Because if an order is sent, for example, at the DAX at 3 p.m. Central Time, the DAX closed at exact moment, and if it takes a second, for example, for the order to be sent through then the order won't work till the open the following morning. So this gets around all the complications in TradeStation of trying to code around that, which is not easy. We're now going to force an error in TradeStation by putting it offline to see what happens with the legacy TradeStation automation compared to the TradeMade automation. You can see there, there is a counter that's going up to 60, which is a variable you can adjust. And if we've been disconnected for 60 seconds, then we'll be getting an email, SMS, and audio alert to say we're disconnected. We don't want to worry about shorter disconnections because TradeStation servers do disconnect erratically from time to time, and otherwise you'll be getting lots of false alarms. From info at trademade.info alert monitoring disconnected TS data server. That's my email alert that's just come in. 
and will have missed the trade now. So I'm going to put trade station online. And we can see that trade rate automation has recovered and we're now long, even though we've missed the trade by a minute or two. Trade station is flat and didn't give you an out of sync error. Next, I'm going to simulate an order by turning a strategy off and on. Incidentally, you can see Alertmon has alarmed that there's a live contract with no chart associated with it. So, this means if you've got any stray trades, Alertmon will, will be giving you an alarm. But should you do manual trading, for example, then you can put an ignored symbol at ESH22 and that alarm will be gone. So you can see in this case, TradeStation required manual intervention for this error. With TradeMate automation, you see it actually went flat because the strategy has been reporting zero, so it stayed in sync. And as soon as the strategy is up again, it's going to go long. So therefore, whatever happens on your chart, you should always be in sync. And there's no human intervention required. And you can see now, due to that error, TradeStation has gone out of sync. Because we've still got one contract live. And yet the system is flat. So this demonstrates very clearly that the TradeMade automation is much more robust than the legacy trade station automation. Another feature I want to show you is if you want to take profit, it's probably a bad thing to do in practice because whenever you try and beat systems, it doesn't often work well. But anyway, we're going to, for this example, go flat. So we just hit the force flat button. Order fill. And you can see that it's showing it's out of sync here, but alert mon is not going to alarm because it knows that you've manually exited the trade. If you wanted to roll the contract over to the next month, you could have just done force flat, right click, change that to the next month, which would be M, and then we could have just done a buy market, and that's how we would do a rollover. If you're already flat, of course, all you need to do for a rollover is to change the symbol in the strategy. Old inputs. So here we can do symbol substitution, where I'm keen off at ES, but actually trading still MESH22. The symbol we're trading is what's under symbol to trade. The advantage of keen off the continuous contract is sometimes you get a difference between the continuous contract and the continuous contract with the month on it. And I've had on the GSB one system a couple of trades worth I think one or two thousand dollars that only occurred when we're using the at ES symbol and didn't occur when I was using the at ES with the month after it. This also means, for example, you can key off the big, uh, say, Bitcoin contract and trade the micro. And for some markets, you'll get better results. Keying off the bigger contract. And also the data goes back further on the large contracts, which can be an advantage. Another optional entry type is peg orders. We chase the best of the bid ask spread to avoid paying the spread. This example is done by keying off the big ES contract, but you'll see the active orders when the actual contract traded is on the screen. To use peg orders, you simply set use peg orders to true, and there's a timeout to market, which the default is 20 seconds, which means if chasing the best the bid ask hasn't filled within 20 seconds, we will then go to market. There's another type of error you need to be concerned about, 
and that's human error. We, by mistake, may turn a strategy off and forget about it. When you look down the bottom here, there's alerts off mode. So if the off mode is off for more than one minute, it will send a trigger to AlertMon. You can see there's strategy off and the mode is trigger. And that will send your audio, email and SMS alerts. I'll also show how to briefly add the trigger alarms to AlertMon. Just click trigger and all the various triggers like strategy off, if the trading server is disconnected, if the data server is disconnected or if it reconnects, if you have a margin error, not enough funds, just select them all, click open and they will propagate in there and then you can simply set your audio, email or SMS which will be on for all of those alarms but if you want to change that like if it reconnects you probably don't want an SMS but all those things are optional for the user to decide. The time for that is set under off alert seconds. This is not an exhaustive list of features and it's best you refer to the documentation for updates and it's a product that there's not a lot of documentation but you actually need to understand it and read it thoroughly to maximize the features to set it up correctly and to improve your fills. Alertmon and TradeMade Automation is currently free on the trade made virtual server service or it's available on a lease agreement on your own server. Something you must do for setup as a one-off otherwise trade made automation is not going to work. Go to file preferences order entry and for futures or equities or whatever you're trading you need to untick these options or as a bare minimum increase them. And under confirm, this option here must be unticked for TradeMade Automation to work. This is not a complete description of TradeMade Automation and there's more info here in the documentation you need to read. Go to documentation, TradeMade Automation for TradeStation. I also want to thank the GSB community for their support, ideas, encouragement, and collective research to improve trading and execution.